Hi folks, Tim here. Welcome back to Elmendorf Acres. Well, today we are doing a review on the Billy Goat Z3000 Zero Turn Leaf Blower. You can see it here behind me. You can also see behind me that we've had a little bit of snow. Uh, it's the second week of January and I'm running this video a couple months later than I had originally planned. We got busy with, uh, I don't even know what we got busy doing, but we got busy doing everything but making videos and I just got behind. So this machine is absolutely awesome. It's a game changer in the leaf cleanup industry. It does not just blow leaves. It blows small sticks, pine cones, acorns. It feels like there's not a thing that you can't blow over with this, including a couple stone walls. I, uh, I lifted one or two stones off a stone wall on a couple of the cleanups that I had to fix as I was learning this machine. So very, very powerful. Uh, the one discharge is 8,500 CFM, so that's 9 to 10 times more powerful than the biggest backpack money can buy. So we've got our Echo uh, 9010. I believe that's around 1,100 CFM, somewhere in that range. So that is the most powerful backpack blower on the market today. This is, um, I guess, 7.5 or 8 times more powerful than that. It is about 10 times more powerful than our steel or our Red Max blowers. So this is an absolute animal. So let's do a quick tour of this. We had our buddy do some lettering on it for us. You can see the EL logo on the front, the side, and then the Elmendorf landscaping right across the top. We thought it was a really cool touch. Uh, he did it in reflective for us, which is, which is great. As you can see, I've got a couple leaves on it still. But anyway... We have a 35 horsepower Vanguard engine. This thing absolutely drinks fuel. Um, if you're gonna run this in your trailer, make sure you've got a couple spare five gallon cans because by the end of the day, or halfway through the day, you are gonna need them. The other thing I noticed, make sure you keep that fuel filter clean because if you're filling from cans, inevitably you get some gunk in there. So it's a good thing to have uh, planned to do this fuel filter a little more often, maybe every 25 hours. And then at the end of each day, I would recommend pulling the, popping the cover off of this and cleaning out any of the leaf debris because we all know leaves are dusty. So let's come on up here to the operator platform. You can see right here, we've got our choke, our throttle, the key, tachometer, our drive handles, reverse, forward, and when you let them go, that's how you turn your emergency brake on. This little knob up here is your discharge. So you push it to the right to open the right discharge. You pull it to the rear to close all of them, any or all of them. Front is front discharge and to the left side is the left discharge. Very, very self-explanatory. We have an hour meter, as you can see, I'm at 57.6 hours. That is the only hours that we put on this machine this fall, which is incredible because we did 100 properties with this machine. And our properties vary in size, anywhere from a half an acre up to 10 acres. The majority of them being well over an acre. So we've only got a couple of those very small properties. Uh, it does have a light, so if you take this key while it's running, when it's running, it's gonna be over here, of course, but when you click it back one, it goes to the little light symbol. And that has an LED light bar on the front of the machine. Pretty handy at night. My critique of this is I really wish they had light bars on the sides of the machine because your primary discharge and most of the leaf blowing is happening off either the right side or the left side. So let's see how this machine works, shall we? So if we go here, I want to set I want to set this right in here. This is the right side discharge. Now I'm going to open this up, and you'll be able to see how it works. So as you can see, that's wide open. You can see in that chute pretty good there. Um, if you look up in, let's see if we can get you that. You can see the fan blades just a little bit. Now this is a very very heavy machine. Let me close this again. So one of the downfalls of this machine is it is heavy, 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 heavy. This thing weighs as much as your zero turn lawnmowers. So you need to be careful, especially in the fall. Sometimes we get those wet falls. 
this can get stuck. I think we had it stuck twice this year. Um, having one of the zero turns with you to just pull you out is a great idea because there's no way you're pulling this out with a person. Um, not unless you have a rope with a come along, something like that. So very heavy, also not great on hills. I found that out. I've definitely lifted the, the front end of this machine going up the hills quite a few times. But as long as you're careful, use some common sense, you'll be fine with it. I love this leaf blower. This was a life changer this year, and it was an incredible stress relief to have this machine in our lineup this year, where um, before this, we only had backpack leaf blowers. So those properties that were taking us eight hours with two people, we were able to get done in two hours with two people. And we were actually able to get them done two hours with three people with the third person doing the lawn mowing and the weed whacking to give the final cut for the year which is something i love to do once the leaves are done it leaves a nice stripe it's what people see all year when there's no snow or when the snow melts it just really really looks nice or a year like this year where we didn't have any snow until after the first of january so people were able to look at a nice clean lawn for a couple months so that's something really important in the business world, if you ask me, is you want to have your properties looking good. Your name is on them. So we take care of these big properties and people see this all the time, right? They see our truck out front with our name on it. And they want to know that if they hire us, this is what the property is going to look like. So just kind of remember that in the business world, that the way you work on these properties is really your signature. It becomes what you're known for.
right, so overall, I've been really, really happy with this machine. Um, one thing that you need to be aware of is these hydros are supposed to be serviced at 50 hours. So that's something that you either need to do yourself or plan to bring it back to the dealer. But in order to stay under that warranty, you want these hydros serviced right in that 50 hour range. I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a, a dealer or a uh, warranty expert, but in the book it did say at 50 hours, which is different from the large hydros on our zero turns, which are usually a 250 hour break in time. So that is a change here. I've already got an appointment made up for this in the next couple weeks to bring it down and have the dealer service it. All in all, extremely happy with this machine. It has been a complete lifesaver and a game changer in the leaf blowing world. So thank you very much for watching Elmendorf Acres. Uh, we've been trying to do different reviews on a bunch of different products that we have. I've got a whole bunch of things that I could do reviews on. I just haven't really had a whole lot of time to do them yet. So we've been staying busy and building the business and uh, hopefully you've been enjoying watching some of that as it happens. So right now we're at 958 subscribers. We are just shy of that 1000 subscriber mark. That's a big deal in the YouTube world. Once we get 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time, we become eligible to get a little bit of money from each video that we do based off of the amount of views that it gets. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. If you know family or friends who might be interested, or maybe they wouldn't be that interested, but you can convince them to subscribe anyway, I'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching, Elmendorf Acres. Have a great day.